Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to figure out what the uh, independent uh, simultaneous play outcome is in this game, and then we're going to figure out what the collusive outcome in the game is. Okay, so um, we've got a payoff matrix. We've got two firms, Fiat and BMW. This is sometimes called a duopoly or an oligopoly with just two firms. Okay, and the way to read what's going on here is these are the strategies. Okay. And then these are the payouts. So the left player's payout is the first number in the in the box, and the top player's payout is the second payoff in the box. Okay, so that's what that's what's referring to there. When BMW makes a choice, they can choose with additional safety or no additional safety, and they want to think about what would be better for them if Fiat chooses this strategy versus Fiat choosing this strategy. So let's go ahead and solve the game. I'm going to use different colors. Uh, it's easier for you if you do two. Okay, so if Fiat chooses additional safety, what's better for BMW? And since 19 is a higher payout than uh, than 18, we're going to go ahead and choose that. Okay, and then uh, with Fiat chooses no additional safety. Now, if this confuses you, you've got too much stuff going on. What you could do is take your finger and kind of cover up the the irrelevant information. Okay. So, uh, and I'm going to make that go away, okay? Because I, I don't want to, uh, want to be able to write on this. But, but you could, you could do that. So you could, you could just cover up the the irrelevant information. So make it a little easier for you. Okay. So if Fiat chooses no additional safety, we're looking at 25 or 20, and I'm going with 25, okay? And then we're going to do Fiat's in red. Now, Fiat has to make a choice. If BMW chooses additional safety. What's better for Fiat? Okay, so it's between 19 or 18. Additional safety or no additional safety. So 19 is better. Okay, and again, if that can, if that other part confuses you, just cross out that part, and then just you're looking at the two choices there. Okay, and then if you want, you can cross out all this mess, which creates a new mess. But uh, and then you're looking at 25 versus 20. Okay, you can do that with your finger. It's a little easier. And uh, then you don't have to do that. You obviously you can't see me doing that, so it doesn't work. But anyway, um, so they're they're better off choosing uh, additional safety when BMW chooses no additional safety. Okay. So does any firm have a dominant strategy? And the answer is yes. And the way you want to phrase it is both have a dominant strategy to add additional safety okay and the reason it's a dominant strategy is that regardless of what the other player chooses they're better off to make that choice so that's why we say it is a dominant strategy okay so which strategy is dominant it's to add additional safety okay which which is actually if you want to think about it it's a good good call for uh, the consumer, right? Because the consumer gets this better outcome. Now, if you look at it, it's the worst outcome for uh, both firms, right? This this would be a better outcome, or one of these would be better individually. But uh, this is this is what's called the Nash equilibrium. So the place that you've circled both, or the most likely outcome, this is the Nash equilibrium. So I'll label that as Nash, okay? That's the Nash equilibrium named after John Nash, okay? Um, so what are the Nash equilibrium strategies? So we would we would say this as both add additional safety. Okay. Now it would be the total payoffs. Um, it's pretty easy. You just read it. 19 each. What price strategy pricing strategies would um, would they adopt? It's interesting they're saying pricing strategies since this is really a a choice here. Um, uh, if both firms could collude and maximize joint profit, so really what it's asking is like, what would they? What would be the collusive outcome? So if BMW and Fiat got together and made an agreement, they would make an agreement here for this outcome because that's twenty each. So we'll call that the collusive outcome. Okay, and so they would both, I guess, charge twenty for it. Uh, and have no additional safety. Okay, what would be the total payoff? Well, again, it would just be 20 
each. Okay, so that's how to solve game theory uh, problem. And this, I guess, this is a prisoner's dilemma because the joint, uh, the competitive outcome results in an outcome that's worse than if they were to collude and work together. Think about what's best for them. Okay, there you go.